Well, come on inside, it's cold outside. Hi, my name is Casey, or the Real Housewife of Nebraska. Today I'm going to give you my holiday home tour, but first, let's get some music on to get this tour started. Now, if you remember my fall home tour, you'll remember that I added just a few hints of fall throughout the house. The same can't necessarily be said for Christmas. When you first come into my house, you see these very Instagram-friendly balloons. You may have seen celebrities or your friends posting with similar balloons for their birthday. Well, I decided to get trendy, and they're actually one of my girls' favorite things in the house. I just have to put them up high enough so the girls don't hit them and break them. I actually learned that lesson with Santa. No, I'm not talking about Santa Santa. Our poor balloon Santa is broken after the girls decided to hit him up in the air. Overall though, I do really love these balloons. In fact, I'll put a link down in the description box if you're interested on where to buy them. I'll also put links to other decor I'll be showing throughout the house down below there too. And while you're there, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and the bell and join this YouTube family. Aside from the balloons, the other thing you see when you enter my house is into my living room. In here, I went with a mid-century modern theme. I actually did an entire video just on setting up the living room. I'll link that down below. Now, here in the living room, you'll find out what my Christmas decor obsession is this year. Bottle brush trees. Aren't they cute? And very mid-century. You'll also find a lot of gold accents in here, which is also mid-century. Some examples are this sweet little deer I got from Hobby Lobby, this picture frame from my mom that she got me from Pier 1, and different little leaves along with candle holders and the bases of these bottle brush trees. I did have to move this table my brother gave me so I could make room for the tree. This tree was actually some of the inspiration for the mid-century modern theme. This was my parents' first Christmas tree and the tree I decorated as a kid. How special is it now to decorate it with my own kids? As you can see, it's kind of a Charlie Brown tree, but that works for mid-century. Now, felt is also a staple of that era for Christmas decor. So that's why I landed on this garland and these stockings. They're all from Hobby Lobby. The last thing in this room I'm going to show you is our elf. What do you think we should name him? We're taking suggestions. You can comment down below. My kids absolutely love this piece. Now onto our kitchen area. The first thing you see is this little sitting area. I simply switched out the pink flowers I had here with red berries. Then I added a couple of red pillows I bought a few years ago at Pier 1. You'll also notice that I have three things on this tray. That's because of the odd numbered rule. If you haven't heard it before, it's best to decorate in odd numbers with varying heights, such as my five bottle brush trees, this display of three, and then Mary and Joseph and Jesus. Hmm, not sure if that counts, but yeah, three, right? Okay, now back to the kitchen. In this room, you also find another popular trend, buffalo plaid. I just couldn't resist. In addition to my towel, I also added buffalo plaid to my bar cart. And what else do you see here? Yes, another bottle brush tree. 
We also have supplies here for hot chocolate, and I wanted the car to be a little bit healthier than it was for fall. If you remember my fall video, there was a lot of candy here, and my kids did eat way too much of it. This time, I have nuts and then candy my kids don't really like. I'm honestly not a big fan of candy canes either, but they look fancy, right? How about you? Do you like candy canes? Yay or nay? Comment down below. I also added a few signs here to remind us what Christmas is all about. And uh, talking about that, I forgot about our Christmas book stand in the living room. It's fun to curl up by the fireplace and read these treasures to my kids. Okay, back to the kitchen. I added some leftover balls from our trees and put them in glass containers. That's an easy thing you can do. And here's our nutcracker that's a hand-me-down from my mom. My kids actually do take some of the nuts from the bar cart and try to have the nutcracker crack them. How's it going, Camille? Then I decorated above the kitchen cabinets this beautiful garland I got from Yonkers six years ago on Black Friday. Rip Yonkers. And then I added my little holiday house along with, yep, more bottle brush trees. And there you have the odd number rule once again. Here's the last stop, our dining room. This room here is a little bit more traditional. Our Christmas tree is full of mixed metals with silver and gold. We also have yearly pictures with Santa. It's fun to see each year how much the girls have changed. I also added a few pics behind pictures, just trying to keep it classy. On the table, I have candles my mom has given me. I do actually have taller candlesticks as well, but I didn't put them on the table because I feel it's important to be able to see across the table during a meal and be able to talk to one another. And then I saved one of the most important Christmas decor pieces for last. A nativity scene may not be as trendy as bottle brush trees or a balloon banner, but it reminds you of the real reason of the season, which is obviously the most important. I really hope you enjoyed my holiday home tour. I hope it gave you a little joy and inspiration. Once again, I would really appreciate it if you went down below and hit the subscribe button and the bell. Thanks again for watching and Merry Christmas, everyone.